Let's do the second date update. Uh, I think we've got everything lined up here. Claudine in Pasadena wrote to us, sis, and mm-hmm. she said, Dear Ryan and Sissany, I thought things were going really well between us. We were actually dating. We were hanging out practically every weekend doing things. Went to the movies, went bowling, and we even went to a concert together. But that was it. He just stopped texting and calling me, and I have no idea what happened. Wow. That's Claudine in Pasadena. So, like, why the 180 on this? And that's a few dates already. On the line. I know, it's not just a second. It's a, right. it's, it's a pattern here. So, Claudine, thanks for coming on. How are you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm good. So, just to get a little more forensic on your story, did you, did you discuss the fact that you were in a relationship, that you were not seeing other people? Like, how far did the dating go? Um, I mean, we were only seeing each other. I, I, I don't remember if we had an explicit conversation about it, but I mean, we were spending enough time together that I don't think there was any time for me to, to be with anyone else. I mean, I pretty much made it clear I was only interested in him. And what was the last thing you did together? Where were you? What'd you do? Um, we went to see a concert. We went to, um, we went to go see Mumford and Sons. Okay. And after that show, you guys kiss goodnight or everything was normal? Yeah, I mean, it was normal. It was kind of like every other time. I mean, we had fun. It, he seemed to have a good time. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was having a great time. And and that was, I mean, that was kind of it. That was the last time I saw him. And I've really only gotten kind of short text responses. I mean, to be honest, mm. I'm the only one who's reaching out. He's not initiating the text. So Okay. So here, we're going to put you on hold. We're going to okay. call him. His name is Keith? Yes. We're going to call Keith with you on the line next and see what we can find out, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Of course. Stick around for this. It's next. Claudine is on the phone. So, Claudine, she went out with this guy. They're actually dating. I mean, you know, that's... Yeah, they went on a few cute dates. Every weekend, she says. Movies, Mm -hmm. bowling, concert. That right there is a year's worth of fun dates. Yeah. (laughs) You did all those dates consecutively? I mean, a bowl, a concert, and a movie? Super cute. That takes like six months sometimes. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, in terms of how they're spread out, right? Mm, I don't love a movie date in the beginning. Okay. okay. Hello, Tanya. Well, what do you What do you love? <laughs> uh, just curious here. Hi, Tanya. What do you love? We don't get to talk to the person. That well, you're we don't like know a, if they did dinner beforehand. Yeah. There's so do you many like good a movies. Bowling though. date? Yeah, bowling's way better than movies. I just I feel like movies just there's no talking. I find that I always want to go on a bowling date, but the bowling alleys are booked. You can't get a bowling alley. What? Yeah. They're you not find booked. That? You don't no. find Tubbs, you ever want to go bowling? It's all booked. Go to pin. I'm actually a pretty good bowler. <laughs> oh, Tubbs, wow. tell, us you, so, tell us what you love. Just putting that out there. Okay. Love what you love. Is that an yeah. invitation? All right, let's get to this. Uh Claudine, we're gonna call <laughs> Keith here and see if we can find out what happened. Stay very quiet while we ask him some questions. You'll hear everything, okay? Okay, got it. Patty, you got Keith on the line? I do. Okay. How's he sound? Like a nice guy, chill. Oh. Chill. Okay, great. Keith? Yeah. Hey, it's Ryan Seacrest on Kiss FM. Your voice is being broadcast. How are you? Very well. Very well. Um. Uh, Let me explain. We are calling you to say hello, first of all. And also, do you remember someone that you went out with named Claudine? uh, I do. I do, yeah. Uh, Okay. And so, what do you remember about her? Um, I, I mean... We went out several times. I remember, you know, she was pretty. Is there something specific you you're, you're asking about? What do you What do you mean? It's, well, yeah, I'm just curious to know how it went with her. I understand you guys went out a few times on some dates. Yeah, we, we to, did. Yeah, yeah. Good. And then you went to see Mumford and Sons. We did. We did go see. We did go see Mumford and Sons. What, yeah. What have you done right. since then? Have you guys gone on any more dates? No, no. We we have we have not. Um, we've, we've texted a few times, but that's, that's about it. All right. So I'm just curious. Is there a reason why you didn't want to go out with her again after Mumford and Sons? Um, I mean, honestly, yeah. Um, I mean, I I had fun at the concert, but I just, this is going to sound weird and probably a little petty. Um, I just felt like we, we were incompatible. Um, like, um, I, I had a lot of fun before that, and uh, I definitely had fun at the concert, but, like, I, when I go see a concert, I just kind of want to 
you know, sit there and enjoy the music. And she's one of those people that wants to jump around and scream and dance. And, you know, one of those <laughs> she's actually having fun, enjoying the show. Okay, you know, you want to say like that? I, I'm enjoying the music, too. I just don't want to jump around and scream and, and dance and whatnot. And she, and she kept, like, grabbing my arm and pulling me up and... I'm like, okay. no, no, I'm fine. I just want to, you know, I, I mean, just want to enjoy. Uh, yeah, know, Keith, it sounds a little petty. It sounds a little petty. But I have Claudine on the line with us right now who's listening to this. Why don't you just tell her that you thought you were incompatible? Why string her along? Hello, Keith. Hi. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I, 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 I don't. I really don't understand. Uh, I just, I just felt like we were two different people and, you know, I... I was clearly telling you that I didn't want to get up and dance and whatnot, and you weren't taking no for an answer. Well, I mean, you, well, you you said, no, not really. I mean, you kind of waved to me off, but we were having a good time, and I feel like you just you didn't, you just wouldn't open up, you know what I mean? And I think, like, if you would have gotten up with me, you would have had even more fun. And, it, I mean, I also didn't, I mean, I didn't know you didn't, you didn't, you didn't like, you should have talked to me, you know, and told me. I, I didn't realize this was such a big deal. Yeah, I mean, mm. I don't know. I just it it just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Is is really all it was. But I mean, this wasn't our this wasn't our first date. Like, I, I feel like we have set a precedent where I just felt like you would know that you could talk to me and and maybe afterwards just tell me like, hey, that's not what I'm what I'm like. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I hope you know that I wouldn't have done something like that if it if it made you uncomfortable. I just like really wanted you to. Have as much fun as I was having, you know? And also, you didn't do anything wrong, Claudine. Well, I mean, I don't know. Something Guys, we're talking about dancing or not at a concert. Come yeah, on. Like, Are we really having is, this conversation as a reason to bail on somebody? Mumford & Sons has, like, the most sing-along songs like, out of any yeah. band. They're the most unmumming group. You should... <laughs> Mum is not the word. <laughs> Mum is not the word. So listen, guys, just in the interest of time here, Keith... Uh, I guess thank you for your transparency now. Kind of could have told her sooner. Kind of is petty. Claudine, I don't think he's a match. So this is as the. Well, it's as, really sad because I feel like we had such great times before but, this, and it's just sad for it if this is what it is for it But ev- everything, Claudine, in your life will come at the appointed time, and Keith is not the right time. Oh. All right. Well, I'll just have to take your word. Thank you so much for your help. Keith, thanks for staying on the line and not hanging up, okay? Yeah, yeah, you got it. Oh, all right. I mean, I yeah. Uh, there's just no interest there. He was yeah. just there was no interest. There's no so, interest at all. I th- I think that whatever at the concert is an excuse. He just was not. He was not feeling it. Well, he yeah. was more of an introvert, and she's might be more of an extrovert, and that's fine. Sure.